What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Hawks News. If you're new to the channel, please hit the, the subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into it. People appreciate you guys. But talk about game three Eastern Conference finals. Uh, we lost to the Milwaukee Bucks 113 to 102. And it couldn't have come at a worse time with an injured Triang. Um, he left the game early third quarter and had to go in the locker room undergoing an MRI um, with the medical team Monday. And Hawks did announce recently that he is going to be considered questionable for game four with a bone bruise in his right foot. Uh, of course, um, in that third quarter, Young was along the sideline and tried to throw a pass that was deflected by Holiday. And he tried to turn to try, um, run back on defense and he stepped on the right foot of the referee and um, he sprained his ankle in the process and stayed down until the play was stopped. Now, um, he was evaluated in the locker room with the Hawks staff and returned to the bench early in the fourth quarter where he was diagnosed with an ankle sprain and did get the all clear to return to the game. So now, of course, there are rumors that, you know, some people thinking that it was malicious and done on purpose. But right now, at this point, it's just we can't do anything about it other than just pray and hope that Trey Young is going to be fine. Because, of course, you know, this is the true, true key maker and the key piece of this game based on uh, what's been happening in this these series is, um, of course, um, after um, the game, Trey Young said his ankle was sore and hurting and he plans to play in game four, but will receive as much treatment as he can before tonight. So we'll see. We'll see how the injury report is um, later on today, but most likely you'll probably see him um, there, but we'll see how, how limited he will be. And he kept saying it's sore right now. It's hurting and it's frustrating. Um, so all he can do right now is just hope, hope for treatment and hope to be better. And he said when he did come back, it was sore and it just made him mad because he really couldn't go fast as he wanted to. And when it did hurt, um, it, he just want to be able to be better for the next game. So he, he's really kind of beating himself up about it. I know last game he kind of took the blame for that loss as well. But honestly, Trey Young, you're only one player. Nate McMillan is the head coach. And, um, you know, with Trey Young's confidence and quickness, his playmaking and ability to score at all three levels, um, he's really just been the surprise source to our, you know, success there. But... That confidence has to travel through the rest of the team. You know, um, obviously the Hawks have to make some adjustments in the event Trey Young is out or limited. And uh, obviously so much of the offense runs through him, um, you know, and guys like Boggy, um, Herter and Lou Will, they will have to take an increased role on the ball in that circumstance. So uh, we honestly, we find ourselves right where we were in the second round, trailing two games to one at home after suffering a loss um, in their home floor. So we've been here before, okay? So it's not over, but it's crucial that Nate McMillan takes control of this and makes sure other players, you know, do what they need to do. Um, we're, you know, we're at the risk of being pushed to needing to come up with some answers um, in game four. So without Trey Young. We do hope to extend to the next round, but um, it all comes down to what happens tonight, people. Now, our problem is, you know, our toughest test is defending the Bucks in the paint, something we just haven't done with this series that, at, at all well, as well as generating offense with a potential damage engine. You know, our shooting um, has kept us competitive in game three, but we'll need a lot more of that in game four definitely so with that being said along with trey young's injury of course we have boggy he is probable with a right knee soreness good when he's out you know he'll be um he listed as a minor respiratory condition and deandre hunter right meniscus surgery he is also remaining out so with that being said, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, kind of let me know what you think about this and let's just pray for Trey Young and um, Nate McMillan. All these players need to kick in the ass right about now. 
and we need to get on the ball because right now we are where we need to be. It's the, this is the prove it game that we still want to be in it. And we're going to do that tonight. So hope. All right. Until the next time, this is Maggie T with Atlanta Hawks News. And I'm out, people. Peace.